You're going to walk too. Twitter math number nine. <clears throat> Twitter math number nine. So this is going to be a quick continuation of what we talked about yesterday with complex numbers, or imaginary numbers, right? Mm -hmm. And so I've drawn this plane that has the real numbers going this way and the imaginary numbers going this way. Yep. I forgot to tell you yesterday, this is called the complex plane. This has complex numbers, which are also called imaginary numbers. Imaginary numbers. And we, we saw yesterday this really cool rule. I just gave you a demonstration of it. That to multiply imaginary numbers, you multiply the length, and then you add the angles. Pretty, pretty amazing, right? A relationship between <laughs> multiplying and adding. Who would have thought? Hmm. Right? So now I'm going to tell you something, show you just a few other things that just come out of these simple rules. So first of all, let's take a look at this number here, m minus 1. Yeah. All right. If we start from here and we measure the angle around this way, that's 180. That's 180 degrees. Now, if I wanted to multiply minus one times minus one, well, I multiply the length. How long is it from here to here? It's minus one. Well, what's, what's the length? One long. It's one long. So, what's one times one? One. One. So we're going to find something that has a length of one, and I need to add the angles. What's 180 plus 180? It's 360. So where's 360 on this? Uh, where's that angle of 360 if I measure from here? Oh, this is just 180. You need to go down. So I, I go a length of 1 here, this way. So minus 1 times minus 1 is? 1. <laughs> How about that? Now, here's a challenge for you. What shape, all the points whose distance is 1 away from the center here, yeah. What does that look like? Like here's a point whose distance is one. Here's a point whose distance is one. Here's a point. Here's a point whose distance is one. What do all the points whose distance is one? Are you okay? Yeah. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> Something. Okay. Chewing on some paper. <laughs> um, what do all the points whose distance one away from the center? What does that look like? Just these four points? No, all of the points. If you're going to draw all the points who, who are a distance one away it from the It could be like a circle. Yeah, it's going to, exactly going to be a circle. What's the radius of that circle going to be? It's going to be one. One, yeah. Close enough. Well, this is where it was supposed to be. But tell you what, let's move, move I up to there. The secrets of using a whiteboard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes I call that big dot theory. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, so... All the points whose distance is 1. Now, let's do one more fun little challenging problem. Let's look at this point up here, i. Okay, and let's try to find the square root of i. Okay, now what is that going to mean? It's going to be a number that when you multiply it times itself, you get i. Okay, so let's yeah, think what well, we would need to it's do. It's the square root of the square root of minus 1. That's right, it's the square root of the square root of minus 1. So, when I add the angles for this number, Whatever the angle is, when I add two of it, I have to get, what's this angle here? That's 90 degrees. Okay, so what angle, when I add two of it together, do I get 90? 45 degrees. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to get something going on a 45 degree angle here. Okay. Mm. And when I multiply the length, I have to get a length of 1. So what times what equals 1? 1. 1. So I go out a distance 1. So the square root of i must live right here, because it's a distance of 1 away. 1 times 1 is 1, and this is a 45 degree angle. Hmm. Okay? And it turns out this is the point 1 over the square root of 2 plus i over the square root of 2. Hmm. That doesn't matter exactly what that point is. Yeah. But here's this interesting thing. Square roots usually have two numbers that equal them, right? Yeah. And what are they? Like the square root of 4 could mean what? What are the two things that could equal? Could equal negative 4 and, or negative 2 and 2. 2 and minus 2. Well, we found 1. What do you think the other square root's going to be? Negative this. Ah, negative this. So that means over here. Negative 1 over the square root of 2 minus i over the square root of 2. Now let's see if this makes any sense. Let's use our formula. Well, if this is 45 degrees by our geometry, this is 45 degrees, right? Yep. So this is 180 plus 45. What's that? 180 plus 45 is 225. Is 225. Now, if I do this angle twice, what angle do I get? 225 get times 2. A 450. 450. Okay, now once around is 360, right? Yeah. So how much more do I have to go to get to 450? You just have to go 90 more. Aha! Mm -hmm. When I do this angle, big angle, twice, I do get to here. So here are 
two square roots of i. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. Pretty fun, right? Yeah. And by the way, you can also see really quickly, I didn't even think of this till right now, <clears throat> using these formulas that the square root of minus 1 is i, because the angle is 180, half of that angle is 90, right? Mm -hmm. The other square root's minus i, well, this is 90, 90, 90, that's 270. What's 270 times 2? It's 540. Okay, and so I go around 360, and then I have to go 180 more to get to 540. Hmm. Pretty neat, right? Yeah. Imaginary numbers are awesome. Don't you think? Yeah. Good job, huh?